In a recent crackdown on radical Islam, German authorities have launched nationwide raids on an ultra-conservative religious group, the Salafists. They're suspected of having links to extremists and posing a threat to democracy. But for years, the movement has enjoyed conditions that have made it thrive, as Aksana Boyka now reports. To the casual passers-by, these are just ordinary young Muslims who want to be understood by their neighbors. If you can distribute the Bible, why shouldn't you be able to distribute the Koran? These young men are our countrymen, they want to share what they believe in. What's wrong with that? But when you look closer, they're spreading not just what they believe in, but what they insist is the one and only truth worth believing. This sign reads the meaning of the Quran in German, and the men are Salafis, adherents of an ultra-conservative branch of Islam, infamous for their righteousness and intolerance of infidels. People control other people in the West. That's called democracy. But for me, there's only one master, and only he can judge me. But how do we know what the master wants? That's in the book that we're distributing today. According to a German domestic intelligence report, Salafism is the fastest growing Islamic movement in the world. It is preaching a very literal interpretation of the Quran to the point of gauging someone's piety by the shape of his beard or by the the length of her burqa. I think that the mainstream Islam has the same problem with the Salafists like uh, the non-Muslims because they are very radical in their views and in some uh, situations they didn't accept us like Muslims. For years the German government, guided by political correctness, watched as the domestic Salafi community grew in size. Even the fact that some of the 9-11 perpetrators used to belong to a Hamburg mosque didn't prompt much action. But this month, after a series of police raids, the German government moved to ban a number of Salafi groups whose ideology was recognized as incompatible with democratic values. For hardcore fundamentalist mainstream Muslims are just as infidel as Christians, Jews or atheists. And while many in this Berlin mosque are relieved to hear about the domestic ban on Salafi groups, they doubt it will stem the spread of this ideology as a whole because its main sponsor, Saudi Arabia, Arabia is still among Germany's main foreign policy pals. It's not only Germany that's concerned about the spread of ultra-radical Islam. A few years ago, France outlawed the full-face veil. Norway has also banned Saudi-funded mosques. But as Western countries are increasingly taking a stance against radical Islam, their foreign policy all but seems to promote it. Salafi and related Wahhabi movements are seeing a major resurgence across the Middle East, especially in countries affected by the Arab Spring. In the wake of the Arab Spring, uh, we've seen a growth in radical Islamist uh, power increasing in its influence. There is an overall agenda that is taking hold in the Middle East, and a lot of this is due to the involvement of Washington and uh, London, and, and in particular the intelligence agencies in the West have been seeding and backing radical Islamist groups. There are ties and links historically to Al-Qaeda uh, and also the Saudi Arabian ruling regime and Washington have worked together um, for a long time. While Germany is far less vocal on the need for regime change in Syria than it was in Libya, as a NATO member, it is still in favor of enforcing so-called democratic changes, even if those changes are likely to empower groups that are now banned in Germany itself. Aksana Boyka, RT, Berlin.